Chicago Bears officially get their center after signing Coleman Shelton. Me and Steve are going to break it all down, have some fun and more. That's all we can do right after this. To Chicago Bears Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. What's going on, Bears fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bears Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Bears related. Steve on Hayes in the building as we have been every single day this week with breaking news happens. We're up, we're we're up. Uh so Steve O, the Chicago Bears get it's a little echo coming through. So Maybe I'm loud as hell. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so the Chicago Bears signed center uh, Shelton Coleman to a one-year deal. Now, this is important. This guy's familiar with the system that uh, that Shane Waldron does run, so that that's the benefit of adding this center uh, to the to the uh, to the roster. How are you feeling about this signing, uh, Steve-O? Um, like I said, it's another piece that we definitely need at that position, and I feel like it's going to be another piece with who can battle for the possibly starting job for him versus him or Ryan um, base that we just signed as well. That's what they said in the report. At least they did say they are bringing him so he could possibly be someone to push for to see who's going to be the end result. And um, one thing I like about it, I'm not seeing too many like injury problems. And that's something we've been dealing with at the center position. So now we getting a quality guy at center, but he's healthy. So um, we got two guys that's way better than the centers that we had r- rotating and starting. So I like the signing, and um, it's a good deal. Yeah, it's a, it's a solid deal. One-year deal. We don't have the exact details on the deal yet, at least not as I'm seeing right now. Um, but It is like a said, one-year deal, I heard. It's, yeah, it's a one-year deal, so we do know that, that it is a one-year deal. Uh, he's 28 years old, so there's a benefit there. He's had 73 games played. 32 of those games have been start starts over his career so uh you know he's going to come in he's going to compete for that starting uh, center position and no nick he's not necessarily a starting center we'll have to find that out uh it's going to be a battle and that's uh, what we know that right that matt eberflus has done before they do allow for position battles and him and bates are going to compete for that that starting center position i think this is a guy and the, uh, don't overlook the benefit of it either in the fact that um that he knows the system. So that does give him the inside edge. He was, uh, so, you know, that's what it comes down to. I like it overall. And, it, and it, hey, it's cool. It, this is actually, uh, so it looks like, on oh, no, that's Ryan Bates trade. They came down to some more details with that. So solid there, solid there. Yeah, I, I think is, uh, well, I actually think he might have a better chance at winning in. Not only does he know the scheme, but he's a better run blocker than he is a pass protector. And, as of now, based on the line we've been dealing with the past three years, they're a better run blocking team versus pass protection. So, but we still got to see how things shake. Um, this is the first time that everybody's going to get a chance to get healthy and get right, so we can all see the starters around us together. But to me, I think it's going. We're going to really know. This is a this is a position I'm going to pay attention to heavily in training camp because it's going to be a battle. I don't think no. If this is a who who we don't know who's going to win the battle between him or Ryan Bates. So I'm glad they do it, and I, I'm also to see are they going to go after one in the draft? Because I still feel like you to me, I'm only com- I'm more comfortable with three centers on our roster, or at least somebody else that could play center or rotate that center. But I I just honestly hope that we look at somebody still that center. I understand like people are going we got them. No, as much depth as you can get as possible as every position, you should try to get it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and that that's what it comes down to is is the depth at at the position. That's what we know that this has really been so far. So, uh we'll see what what comes of this. I I, I like the signing. It's a solid signing. He's a big body. He's going to come in there, be able to push that position, but this still doesn't feel like the the Bears have necessarily gotten the, a, a de facto starting center yet and keep in mind she, uh, Coleman Shelton as well played a little guard overall uh, sometime in his NFL career as well so he can still be another versatile piece as well in that um, and we'll see what comes of it man yeah hopefully it comes out good uh, like just I'm 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 glad we could do it this way instead of like I feel like though that first year where we got Lucas and we got other people it was more of a scramble drill we were just trying to hurry up and find somebody and they end up not working I mean we used them to the best of our power that we did have them with but it was just and when it comes to what we got out of it it was really not that good so hopefully you can look at this one and hopefully they're a good son. But based off what I've seen, based off the times we played against them and the time I did see them, both Ryan Bates and is Colton his name? 
it is is somebody I feel like is better than the two centers and left guard that we have and Cody White here and Lucas Patrick. Well, yeah, we we know they're more than likely not coming back at all. That'd be ridiculous if they do. I think, yeah, that Cody Cody got released. Yeah, Cody, yeah, Cody's gone. He became a free, so he's gone. Um, yeah. and so the thing with this is that when you look at it, he played all seventeen games last season. Started all seventeen. He he only had two starts before the prior two seasons. He started thirteen games in two thousand twenty two. Out of the thirteen, he played and and then started all seventeen last season as well. So you know that that's a benefit to it for sure. Um, and you know, we'll end up seeing what, what comes of it. Uh, looks like he didn't have give up a whole hell of a lot of penalties either. Um, when you look at it all last season, he had a total of five penalties. So, uh, listen, we, we had games where uh, Braxton Jones had that alone in one game. So, you, you know, that's the benefit to come to come that way. Of course, the penalties went up as he started. That's just the natural indication there. But you know, we'll see what we'll see what happens. There's overall solid signing there. Most definitely, yeah, and I'm definitely been one of the more vets on the online as well. So it's it, it's a good signing in my opinion. Yeah, very solid signing. We'll see what comes of it. Uh, yeah, but hey, the Bears get their center at least right now. The first official, like just solo center signing. But even then, like I said, he's played some guard overall in the NFL as well. So so far, Ryan Post seems to be filling out things with with versatile offensive linemen, and that could be an indication that he's still leaving that that door open to get a true center. And if that's the case, you, you, everybody else just become debt pieces, which isn't bad at all either. Yeah, that's really what it is. Hopefully, like I said, I just hope this one, these two guys translate into something positive because we definitely need it at this position, no matter who the quarterback is. I need to know that this center is locked down for sure. For and sure. I hope, and, and like I said, I think they definitely better than Lucas, so I'm cool with it. Uh, these one, uh, th- uh, this this O line signings are an indication that Boren, Patrick, and Carter are probably gone next season. I don't disagree with you, bro. I don't disagree with you. I, th- I think there's a there there may be a chance that J Tyree Carter stays him either him or Boren. But I mean, the more signings that we get, and depending on what we do in the draft, that that may not be a, a case there either. So, I mean, honestly, all these guys might not be gone because I believe both of them are one year deals. So, like, yeah. it's it's a proven year for everybody. It's a exactly. preview for everybody on this line. And this is a big question from I trust polls. Well, let me ask, what do we make all these one year deal signings? Here's the thing that I'm going to say is that you want to tie in and make sure that these guys are probably going to be the guy and you want to maintain some flexibility. So what I would think, just knowing what I've seen from Ryan Poe so far, that fle- he values flexibility as well as anything else. And so if for some reason these guys don't work out, he's not he's not tied into long term deals or long term money. To where he can make a pivot and go after some of the offensive linemen next year if he decides to take a bigger swing, right? We know this year maintaining that cap space is is, is important, but let's say that the Bears do go on or make the playoffs next year, and then next year in the offseason, he could say, all right, now I'm ready to spend big money on a center or if we don't draft one or something like that. So I think that's maintaining a little bit of future flexibility, which is smart when you're, when you're a GM. Yeah, and I'm just looking at some of the people like imagine if we didn't give a Gakwe a one year deal. Like imagine we just looked at everything he did in the past and be like, okay, let's give him two, three years. Now we sit here look stupid because we could have given him that one year to prove it. And he didn't prove this year that he was deserving to get extended, in my opinion. So that's why he does it. And it's a it's a it's, it's a part of his character. It's part of what he likes to do. He If he's going to put money towards you, this is something he's seen on a multitude of games and seasons. Everybody he's then signed from Cole Komet to Trey, I mean, Tremaine, to um, giving it uh, to TJ, to um, who the guy, Montez. Everybody is proven. they either proven where they came from and here or they proven it while they was here. And to me, Everybody that he gives a one-year deal hasn't proven it. And most of them are guys that are either young or older or and that because they've been over, they've been shipped around the league a lot. So yeah. I think that's that's a part of his nature. He's not just gonna tie into money just because of the past things you did. He needs to see if you're capable of doing it in a new system with our team and are you able to keep doing it. Couldn't have said it any better myself. So, hey, that's it. Uh, Solid signing here by the Chicago Bears. You guys know we're on duty. We'll see if anything else happens over the course of of today. I literally just texted Steve O saying it's been a quiet day. About 10 minutes later, this deal happened. So, Uh, you know, know. we got action. We got action.
<laughs> but make sure you guys are following us at Shy Bear Central. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns. Chicago Bear Central gmail.com. Lastly, if you want to leave a text message and our voicemail, number to do so, 773-242-9336. We're the number one spot for everything Chicago Bears related. And we'll see you guys probably sometime today. I have no doubts so there'll be another move today. <laughs>